So now, once again in WinJupos, you're going to want to select the right planet. For reference from the first video, it's under Celestial Body, and the first one I'll show you is a Mars image. The next thing to create your image map is to go into Recording and select Image Measurement. Then open your image. The shortcut keys are handily labeled here as F7, where you press the button. Select your image, input your date and time, paste my time in. I forgot to mention that when inputting your time, use the midpoint of your capture, but I use the beginning. Now you have everything set up from your latitude and your longitude. You have a, a, a fair sense for where north and proceeding are, as you see them labeled in the wire outline here, but they're not anywhere close to it. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work for all planets, and it doesn't work all the time. You can use a shortcut key under Adjust, under Outline Frame, for automatic detection. It works fairly well for Jupiter, as we'll see in the next section. It doesn't work for all planets. So, you're going to want to use this little cheat sheet. I'll put a link in the description, but I happen to have it handy right here. What it tells you, once you're on the Adjustments tab, that you can use the arrow keys to move the outline. So let's watch. So the outline is down here, and what we want to do is get the north and the preceding to line up over the image. So we're going to use these little shortcuts up here. So watch as I move the arrow keys up. You see it go up. It goes up by a small amount. So what you can do, and I don't think it says this here, but if you hold the control key down, it will jump larger steps. That's pretty handy. Now, we've got it roughly centered. It's the wrong size and it's the wrong orientation. So the arrow keys will move the outline, the page up and page down, will change the size. So page up makes it bigger, page down makes it smaller. Again, the control key is your friend. The control key will jump many sizes up and down. The next thing you're going to want to do is get the north pointed in the right direction. So N and P rotate it clockwise and counterclockwise. Again, holding the control key will move larger steps. So this is for the course alignment. So N moves it clockwise, P moves it counterclockwise. So you're going to play with this for quite a while now until you get it roughly close. I'm going to go ahead and show you another planet too. Mars is a trickier one to do. Let's take a look at Jupiter. So I started with Mars because it has a fairly obvious north and south. But let's take a look at Jupiter. Because maybe we're a little bit lost, we're not quite sure what end is up, and that's all right. So let's go ahead and select a celestial body for Jupiter. Now we'll go to Recording, Image Measurement. And now what you're going to see in here, I do a lot of derotation of Jupiter. So we've got something fairly closely lined up here. But your images might be a little flipped. So you're going to need to go back at the introduction look at the up and down orientation in the ephemeris and make sure that you have the proper things lined up in here. So looking at the outline where the north and the preceding marks are, watch how it changes when we change it to a mirror inverted image. The north remains at the top but the preceding flips around to the other side. And now where it gets even more confusing for you is if your image is let's say upside down proceeding is on the original side that I had it on. So this is definitely some area that you're going to play around with and that again is under options or OPT normal or mirror inverted. So you're going to have to play around with that a little bit now. For my own purposes what I'm going to do is in Jupiter you can do the F11 trick. So yeah, watch the screen key at the bottom here. So F11 and then it automatically points it. It's wrong though. So I know because the South Equatorial Belt is larger and the North is smaller that it's actually upside down. So I think there's a backspace key. Yeah, the backspace key rotates the outline 180 degrees, which is pretty cool. So we'll do a course align, and then as we get closer, we just hit without the control key, and it's lined up pretty well there. 
left and right arrows, page up, page down. So practice with that, get it as close to the edge as you can. And now let's take a look at one more example. Saturn's a fairly easy one, and you can do derotation in it even though there is a bug. Let's take a look. So let's take a look at one final example, and hopefully you're getting a little sense for how to move your outline around uh, on top of your image. And what we're going to do for Saturn is take a look at the, the ring orientation, because this is actually fairly easy to do. Uh, the ring orientation is reflected by the lines moving across the globe here. And as you see, that's at the bottom of this image. So if you get confused for your image orientation, Saturn could be your friend. Because, as you'll see here, there is also a notch where the shadow of the globe falls onto the rings behind it. In the outline, it's on the left, and in my image, it's on the left. So I have successfully picked the right orientation. I know it's not mirror inverted, because if it was mirror inverted, the little shadow would be on the right, and it's not.